from the garden. Yeah. Garden, the garden, the garden. Uh. What's up, FPV fam? How's everybody doing today? Uh, so, this video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do. Normally, my videos are just flight edits or vlogs or whatever dumb shit comes to my head. But today might actually be somewhat useful to people. So, stay tuned and you might figure something out. Or, in the words of Barbell, you're going to learn something today. All of that shit. So recently I've had a couple of comments on some of my Cinewub videos that I have on my channel asking how I managed to get my Cinewub flying so smooth. The answer is I put Emu Flight on it, I picked the preset. Good to go. Uh, as simple as that is, there's still a couple of people who are asking what Emu Flight is and how to put it on your quad and if it's any different than beta flight and what kind of boards can run emu flight and all of this shit so so today i'm going to show you how to put emu flight on your quad and how to run through the configurator it's easy as shit so come along for the ride with me so i actually took my cinema up and i reinstalled beta flight on it just to show you exactly what it's going to look like coming over to emu flight from beta flight so if you guys can follow along these steps you should be 100 percent good to go so let's jump on to GitHub and download the configurator. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right on into the internet here. It is a separate day because I am too lazy to record this in one sitting. Fuck yeah. Um, I am on GitHub on the Emu Flight page. This is Emu Flight Configurator 0.3.5, which is the newest version. I'm gonna put the link to this page in the video description so you don't need to worry about going to the wrong thing and downloading the wrong page. But uh, so these are all of the releases and we go down and depending on what machine you're running i'm on a mac right now so i would click this mac os and it's gonna download the configurator and you're just gonna install it uh, but luckily i already have had it set up so so i'm gonna be working on the holy bro kakute f7 mini stack for this one this is what i got on my cinewhoop i had emu flight on it i put beta flight back on the board just because I wanted to be able to show you exactly what it looks like when you're coming over from beta flight. So as you can see right here, uh, when I plugged it in, my emu flight was already set up to auto connect. Uh, so as soon as I plugged the flight controller in, it tried to connect automatically. And this board does not have emu flight set up on it. So right now I'm getting a warning for a non emu flight clean flight firmware is not supported except for CLI mode. So we're gonna close. We're gonna go up to update firmware up here, and this looks just like any time that you would try and update firmware on Betaflight. Let's scroll down, what do we got? Kakute F7 Mini V3, here we go. Uh, what firmware version do we want? 0.3.4, that is the newest. Full chip erase, load firmware. And I think we're all good to go. So we're just gonna hit flash and wait and hope that everything goes all right all right programming is successful beautiful okay so now we have emu flight set up on this board all we got to do is start going in setting up our pids and rates setting up our uh, modes our ports and tabs and everything and we'll be good to go first things first we're going to calibrate the accelerometer good to go ports i have Crossfire set up on UART 4, so we're gonna UART 4 there, and I have my VTX set up on UART 1, uh, TBS Unify, so those are all good. Save and reboot. Configuration. My motor direction is not reversed on this one. This is the only quad I have where the motor direction is normal. Don't need a barometer, don't need a magnometer. Maximum arm angle. Serial based. Crossfire. Oh, shut up. So the PIDS is where Emu Flight has a little bit of that special sauce. Um, uh, right here is something that Beta Flight doesn't have. This is a preset section. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna pick a uh, preset. So right now on this quad, I have 3,800 kV motors on here and they are 1407. Nope. These are 1507s, so we are gonna go with the 3-inch 3 3 4S 1507 3800 KV Cinewhoop. T-Motor 1507s, yep, not a squirt frame, but it should be fine. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna adjust my rates. If anybody was curious about what rates I fly, these are the rates that I fly on 
all of my quads so save that and we're gonna come into filters as you can see there are no filter sliders on like in beta flight which is something some people don't like but uh to be honest i don't even notice a need for them with how good emu flight flies even on its the stock pids and then once you throw those presets in there you're you're good to go there's no real need for the filters anyway uh, receiver tab is where you can check that everything's all set modes let's set up uh modes box one through four set up and i know exactly what they are Save those. Motors tab, same as beta flight. OSD tab, same as beta flight. Okay, so one thing you will notice is that even in expert mode right here, there is no VTX tables. Uh, so you're gonna have to do all your VTX stuff either using the buttons on the VTX or just hook up that smart audio wire or tramp wire or whatever you got and control it with the sticks. It's easy as that, man. All right, so that is that. That is uh, as simple as it gets. We're just gonna come in here hit disconnect and we are good to go my friends so if you like this video if you learned something if i helped you put emu flight on your quad let me know in the comments below subscribe hit that fucking like button all of that dumb shit that people say um yeah take it easy everybody i'll see you in the next one